Sean, just had lovely scenes out on the pitch there, the players taking in the, the, the lack of honour just after this season. How much how much do they uh, deserve that opportunity to celebrate with the fans? Yeah, I think um, I think all parties concerned. I think, you know, the fans have um, paid us back with their support. The players have put a real shift in this season for obvious reasons. Um, and myself and the staff, so I think it's a good connection. I think they've stayed strong when we really needed them, particularly. Um, after a heavy defeat and, and they've stayed true to the, the team and I think that's important and you know I appreciate from the last couple of seasons I haven't had a chance to do that so it was, it was nice for all and the families to get out there and just enjoy a moment. 40 points hit now even with eight points of deductions just um, how much of achievement is that as well when you look at some of the challenges? Of yeah the I, mean, I mean you know I, I felt that over the season I felt early season um, I spoke I thought openly about the fact our performances were good. If we stick with that, we'll, we'll win games. We have done. Five on the trot at home is no no easy feat. And clean sheets. Um, a lot of challenges down the season. That's quite, been quite obvious. And I think the mentality has stayed firm through, throughout the ups and downs and questions and all the rest that happens. And I think, you know, consistency in my message has been true, not just to you, through through my staff and the players. I think we've we've stayed solid with what we believe and how we train and how we work. And it's paid us back as well with the performances and the wins. Yeah. I just ask um, Jack Harrison in injury. What, what is it? Sorry. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, he's, he's pulled his hamstring in training. I forgot to mention it the other day, and it, he's unlikely to make the next game, I think. Um, so, yeah, James, he's put a lot of effort into this season physically as much as anything. So, very unfortunate with that. It's not too serious, but I think it's just it's unlikely he'll make the next game. And Yusuf Chimiti looked dangerous again when he came on. Another yeah, positive sign for the future. Him. Yeah, I mean, you know, Youssef really was brought in as a development style player who probably should have been out on loan or that type of uh, future. But, um, you know, you know the situation here, that's been obvious. Small squad, stretching numbers, but we've had to develop him inside the camp and he's done very well. He's put a lot of effort into it, particularly over the last couple of months. And he's got his payback because we played him and he's had a start, of course, and came unaffected, excuse me, came unaffected the game today. And how pleased we to be able to give Lewis Warrington that opportunity at the end as well, get a few minutes. Yeah, he's been bit. terrific. You know, young player, he trains so well, so hard, gives his lot, got a brilliant attitude, um, and it was nice to just get him on, even though it was only for a few moments, but it's still nice to get him on. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Just the first half, particularly Dominic was just terrorising them, and I think the instance at the end was a reflective of that. I mean, just a few words that he's been just getting better and better. Yeah, I thought he was good. Um, put a lot of effort into the, the, the game in general, but certainly in the first half, I thought we utilised him well. Used him well. Some of the passing forward was, was very good into dangerous areas for Dom. Um, sets a really, really bit of clever play to set the goal, obviously. Um, yeah, and I mean, you know, we know what a fine player he is. It's simple as that. And when he's on that kind of form and equally against um, Liverpool, I thought he was quieter down at Luton, but I thought he played very well again today and was only missing a, a goal. Sean, how impressed have you been by Jack Harrison? He's obviously he's only a lone player, but he's, he's been used a lot this season. Just just a word on him and his progress with the team. Yeah, he's done very well. His, his tactical understanding is excellent, especially two roles really wide or, or in the number 10 spot. Um, his work ethic's excellent too. I still think there's more with his talent because I think he's very talented. You know, we sit in training. I've spoke to him about, you know, unlocking that. Um, but over the season's work, I think he's done very well for us and been a very consistent performer. Sure. I assume you haven't heard anything more on the ownership or where, where that's going or anything? Uh, no, it's red, so I haven't. Well, Sean, sure, without the points, so can you be 11th and going into the last game, you'd have a chance of finishing in the top 10. I mean, with everything that's gone against this season and you know, the financial situation, do you think you have surpassed expectations in terms of points you've got? Well, it's, it's hard, though, because there was a spell when we were getting heavily questioned when we weren't winning. Um, and you understand, you know, this is a big, a big club, you've got to win games. But I was, I was trying to reflect and be honest and say, well, hang on a minute. The psychology of football, if we did have them eight points on, we would have won nowhere near even the talking point of not winning games. And we'd have probably won games. You know, so as that story changes and it gets heavier and heavier and the weight gets heavier on the players, I thought we'd come out of that well, actually, you know, to, to handle that and come through it. I held my hands up, I designed an ugly, ugly win against Burnley and it worked. Um, then a really tough, obviously, a really tough, horrible night. And then we've reflected on that and we've made sense of it. And I think I've been really pleased with that. You know, so a lot of good work done over the season. Um, my job is to see through the noise, as I call it. That's the job. You know, it's good, bad and indifferent and make sense of what the team are doing. And I think I've done, I think I've done a good job with that. And I think the team have as well. Is that the bar now for next season? Or, you know, so yes, the one, sorry? Is that the bar for next season? Then, or, you know? The bar for next season is, is making sure that we safeguard this club in the Premier League. Yeah.
It doesn't really change. There's going to be more challenges coming. I've tried to be honest with you. The fans told me they want the truth. I'm telling you the truth. It's not going to be fixed overnight. You know, it's going to be it's going to be a building process, and it takes time. Now, I think there is growth in, in what from when I got here to where it is now. I think there has been development in the side and the players, and I think the the, the sort of mentality for sure. Um, there's there's a long way to go to get it back to where Everton think they are. Do you know what I mean? Because the perception is often bigger than the truth of the story. So I'm trying to find the gap between the two and bring it together so that fans go, OK, all right, we kind of get where we're at. So I'm trying to do that. But there's more challenges to come. I don't just mean financial. I mean more challenges, balancing out the club, balancing out the playing side of things, balancing out the wage structure. There's more challenges to come. Obviously, Kevin Fell won't come out yesterday and said that you are going to have to sell some players in the, in the summer. Yeah, very likely, very likely. Um, and that's, that's, yet again, it's the current truth of the situation. Well... Hey, we need the microphone, so I can't hear you. Take it, that was actually a joke. He's actually going to pass it over. I, I thought that was it. It was another dry joke that didn't work. I don't know. I'm going to have to improve my game. I thought that was funny, but anyway, it doesn't really work here. My dry jokes just don't work. There you go. I can hear you now. Is there um, any indication of whether you'll be able to keep him? I mean, given the, Who's that, sorry? Jack Harrison. Uh, well, we're, we're, we're waiting to see, you know, and, and a lot of things. As you can imagine, the first thing was making sure that we were safe, and then once we make sure we're safe, we can kind of reevaluate where the truth of it is, uh, the internal truth, I mean, with, you know, the financial side and what we can do. Um, so, yeah, that'll be an ongoing process, and, and some of the contracts will be ongoing as well. Thanks. Any further questions? Shamu? No. <laughs> Sorry. Good from you. Good from you. See, how come he got a laugh? I didn't. <laughs> I thought mine was just as good. I thought my dry joke was just as good. It didn't work. Well done, you. Well done, you. <laughs> well, I, I don't really like... I think the game's gone too soft with a lot of things, as you know, um, feigning of injury and all that sort of stuff. But that one, I think, is probably too much. You know, I think the, 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 the game's going on. I don't, think you, you know, I don't think the game would suggest you can just walk to a player and just push him so pretty strong in the chest. I don't, I don't think that's a good thing about the game. And then they said it was because he wasn't in the face. And I go, <laughs> so, so in theory, then anyone could just go across the pitch and just shove someone on the floor just for the sake of it and get a yellow card in theory. So that can't be right, can it? But I've got to say, I don't really like all the red card thing over things that are pretty, you know, pretty nothingy. Um, so I mean, it's, a, it's a debate point for me. That, but the modern rules suggest when it's pretty aggressive, like he's probably going to walk. I mean, we had the one last season with Decore on Harry Kane. It was a nothing moment, really. Um, Harry Kane goes down. I don't think Don made a big deal of it, you know. And and he got sent off. De Corey got sent off. And you go, well, you know, that one today is pretty pretty simple stuff for me in the modern game. But but personally, I think the game got too weak on a lot of these things. You know, for me, you just um, stop messing around, give me the other card, and crack on. But the the rules suggest now that you're putting yourself in trouble there. So that there was every chance I felt he he could have could have walked. Sean, um, just a word on Jordan Pickford for the 13th clean sheet step. I think he's going for his second night, David Ray, and that gold glove and all that. And you, you need experienced heads and people who perform consistently well for it, but just how well he is. He's done great, but I've got to be honest, uh, and I know he appreciates I'll be looking at the team in front of him going, these are these are hardy lads. I mean, last week I, I spoke about the Luton game. I didn't think we played well with the ball, but without the ball, fantastic. People were just throwing their bodies, people, you know defending to everything to keep the ball away from him and when he's needed I think he's delivered very good performances so I think there's a lot of work by the defensive group he certainly deserves credit but there's a lot of work in front of him and I think he appreciates that. Just one final one from here. Sure. But as you just mentioned five you've ended the season with five home wins um, and obviously that's on the back of a difficult day at Chelsea starts that run as well how important was it to end like that these fans have been through a lot this season and this club have been through a lot does that kind of give you a Bit of a boost going into the summer, a long summer. Yeah, I think it helps. I mean, I spoke to the players, and you know, it's a, it's sort of a, you know, an end of season feel to the game. But a really hot day as well has to be factored. You know, it's come out of nowhere this kind of heat, and even as a player, that catches you out a little bit. So you know, it felt a bit slower and a bit more like an end of season game. But that being said, you got to win, and we did. And I think that's where we've shifted forwards this season. You know, we we found different ways of staying in the games to get a point and to win. And I think we've done that again today in a game that probably was going to pan out something similar. 
I thought first half we were very good and we deserved probably to score again, but we didn't. And then second half, credit to them, they're playing for pride, don't forget as well. I know Chris and he'll want to, he'll want to make sure that he sees out the season properly. And they've attempted to do that today and we found a way to win. So I'm pleased overall. And does it feel like you've left Goodison on a sort of high note for this season? Well, I, I, think, I think it's where, um, the right way to finish because you've got to win. You know, and, and finding ways to win has been important and the crowd enjoy that and they get a chance to see the players in a different format than the last couple of seasons. So I think it's a very positive finish on that respect for everyone concerned. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.